Hello everyone, welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp. This time we continue with the spectacular applications in R. In this part, I will show you that something as similar as a computation of correlations can be indeed very interesting and visually rewarding, and also that it shows things about your data set that you might not expect, or at least that you can explore large data sets and correlations between multiple variables in a very easy manner. So what we are speaking about, so we will explore a standard correlation, then correlations in a tidyverse with a core R package, so the C-O-R-R-R, and then a very nice visual application with the GG ally. So we will use a tidyverse and Palmer Penguin's data sets or packages, so these also need to be installed. So what we are speaking about. So the first one is, well, the loading of everything. And of course, if you don't have any of these packages, you need to install them by install the packages and you put the package name in the, in the bracket. So basically you just uncomment here or basically write this and run run these lines. I have already have done it, so for me it's uh, commented out. We start with a simple correlation in R or the base R, and for example we want to compute the correlation between the body mass of the penguins and the bill length. So we use the complete observations because there are some unknown or un NA values in the data set, so that is why we use the complete ones and we indeed find that this is close to 0 0.6. So just to be entirely complete with this description, if you don't know the penguins data set, so this is a very, very nice example data set containing, well, penguins as the name suggests, and basically a few traits, the build length, uh, build depth, uh, the flipper length and the body mass. And there are several, uh, three species from several islands. And then there are also some other traits and observations, but we will use, uh, well, just these uh, traits for our purposes. So anyway, we did a nice uh, correlation. So again, it's close to 0 0.6. Well, if you need to do multiple comparisons of the traits, then, uh, well, this could be somewhat lengthy. So what you could use is also a correlation matrix that you could easily do with the core package. So here we just select well, the trace that we want and we just say correlate with the core package. So if you run this, it gives you a very nice table of correlations. Well, of course it could be positive and negative and then there are the traits on the X and Y axis or basically in this uh, table in the first column and the header of this of this table, there are the names of the traits. But of course, what we know about correlations that well, the cor Pearson correlation is a number, but depending on how the data set is set up and if there is some substructure in the, in the data, then the correlations, the correlation coefficients could be very misleading. And that's why you also always need to plot the data that you are calculating the correlations for. And again, if there are many pairs, this could be very tedious to do so. But here the GG ally or this uh, and or the GG pairs comes to rescue. And basically it allows us a very nice visual overview of our entire data set. And, and this is basically the whole code. So basically the penguins and the select is just before as before. And if you want to do this, this very complex looking graph, you just need to do the GG ally, GG pairs, or call this, call this function. And if we run this, it takes a bit of time and it gives you this uh, very complex looking graph. So here you, what you see are the individual correlations between the traits but also various graphs, box plots, and XY plots, how the data is distributed. And here indeed, for some traits, you see that there is some substructure. So you need to explore those 
a bit further to be correct on those correlations if indeed the correlations are the main goal of your endeavors. And if you want to do so and explore the structure of your data, you can do it just as easily to include the species, the penguin species in this case, as the means of stratification in your graphs and correlation comparisons. So we have it as before. So we have a penguins that selecting the, the same traits just to be comparable between the examples. And then basically what we do is we color by species. And then, well, we, we can also include manual colors if you want to do so. And after running it, you see a much, much nicer picture about the entirety of your data set, you could easily see that indeed there is some stratification by species. And while there are the overall correlation coefficients still displayed on the top of these boxes, the correlation by species could be widely different. This example also shows how the failure of considering stratification in your data can lead to entirely incorrect results. As you see, for some of the trait combinations, the overall correlations are negative, but if you consider the stratification by species as it should be, the correlations flip entirely to the other end and there are positive correlations as they should be and as they are even more logical from the biological perspective. So I leave you with this, but I wanted to make a two minute video and now I, I'm quite sure this is longer. ggPairs is an excellent way how to explore data sets and yet another example how very nice things could be done very easily in R. So this is it for today. I thank you for your time and have a really nice day.